Hi Virgo, welcome to your weekly message. So I do feel like during this week for some of you there's a lot of awareness, a lot of awareness in terms of the things that are not working as you would like them to be working, as what hopefully, um, again, you would like them to be moving and happening and flowing. It's like there's some sort of challenge, some sort of problematic energy circling around you, Virgo, during this week that might sometimes really take you down or kind of depress you, like feeling like, what's the point? There's a lot of that, what's the point? And a temptation to give up um, on something or to just be in the state of, I have to say, a lot of victimization or this mentality, this mindset of poor me. And it's not like um, your reasons to be suffering are not justifiable. I just feel like some of you have this... Uh, danger to be so uh, focused right into the things that are not working into the things that keep happening and that do not allow you to move forward that do not allow you to meet your goals and your desires that you, it's like it's like a, the energy of feeling like you're failing or feeling like something is just not right can be so strong that sometimes during this week you might be really in this bad mood like depressed uh angered sad and i actually feel like for some of you it's a mixture of a lot of those emotions like a lot of moodiness a lot of fluctuation a lot of difficulty in remaining steady confident uh you know strong on yourself believing that no matter what kind of roadblocks you are encountering ultimately you will be able to find your way uh, around them or you are going to find um, another road, another path. It's like some of you, this is also about some sense of stubbornness, like you want things to happen in a way that you have set yourself uh, to happen, particularly Virgos that have built here some sort of plan or strategy, like a very concise one. And this might be a test here of adaptation. It's like maybe you need to change your plan. Maybe you need to change the way you're, you're um, trying something to work out, like a change for the better, but you might not be seeing the change as something positive because it's not in alignment with what you have prepared yourself to be. Like It's like a need to redirect your aim, uh, a need to build another plan, a need to change something, adapt to something, be more in the mutable flow, and you might not want it. There's a, I keep getting like there's a feeling of resistance, uh, very strong resistance in some of you Virgos to just allow things to change. And this change shows as being a benefit for the majority of you. Uh, but as long as, again, you keep being in the energy of nothing is working, nothing is working, why is not working, um, it will be hard for you to accept and invite the energy of change and actually have things blooming um, and happening from there. It's like this is a message for some of you that are kind of struggling in finding, again, the result, the success, the feedback, the responses um, you want. Others of you is just... I feel like there's a lot a lot of work in some of you wor Virgos in terms of development of your sense of wholeness. Trying to be at, um, it's like tr trying to be at uh, the best you can in this energy of acceptance and integration uh, so you can grow and expand again a lot spiritually as well and professionally as well. There's something here about some of you Virgos as you work on this energy of integration as you try to see yourself um, as a whole, more than as parts or more than, you know, just one thing, as you try to bring into your life um, more openness to different beliefs, to different ways of doing things, to different, uh, you know, sides and perspectives, the more you work on openness, the better you will feel, and I also feel like your professional life for some of you uh, will benefit from this 
openness to life and to the kind of multiverse aspects of life that some of you are understanding like they exist and they are extensions of you and so from there you can create so much and you can understand so much and be much more at peace with how things uh happen and work because you're not looking at them just with one way just with one uh perspective i also feel like some of you need to work on that uh spiritual side of you like you need to uh get connected with some sort of uh, spiritual uh, divine tool to help you gain faith and confidence in yourself and your life and that despite the errors, the mistakes, the failures, whatever you're seeing as negative, despite what has happened, you always have tomorrow, you always have a chance to do better, there's always hope, but there's a feeling of losing hope, being out of faith, and when there's that abandonment of divine energy, of creation, of manifestation, of a belief in something higher, and a purpose higher than our own, you know, selves, and limiting understanding of life it's very hard to cope with challenges when we are out of faith many times the only thing we have to hold on to to survive certain experiences is the faith in tomorrow so some of you struggling or not struggling virgos i do feel like this is a very important week to be connected with something higher than your own seeing yourself as a part of a higher uh you know orchestration you're a piece of a mega beautiful puzzle that is beyond a little your comprehension but eventually i believe some of you virgos will get there uh it feels like the upcoming season um when we go into virgo season things will be a little bit brightened i feel like something will be brightened so where you're seeing now a lot of darkness or grayish feeling depression again blues nostalgia Something in your season will be brightened up and I keep getting like it's something about your professional life or something where you really want to, something you really want to expand that it's about uh, what you're good at, right? What you see yourself as being good at or what you see something in your life to be um, a very important part to make it work and function the way ultimately you would like it, you would like to have it function. It's a week that shows like it's not about you, Virgo. It's about the bigger picture. And some of you might be suffering with this notion that it's not about serving right now your needs or your desires. It's about serving a higher purpose. So I hope you have a great week. If you would like to have a personal reading with me, please contact me through the email I put in the description box below for the month of August as usual I have two special sales offer available they are um, special offers uh, focused on the themes of Leo season so if you would like to know more details about those specials or any other of my services again just email me if you would like to donate and support my channel you can also do so by following the PayPal link which is down below and as well where you can find the links to my social media so have a great week